Hello guys, welcome back to another video. JMO here, bringing you the next episode of the player curve that I'm doing at MK Dons. Um, last week we've been getting some pretty decent results recently, playing fantastic pieces of football. And uh, sticking with my accomplishments here, quite close towards getting a few more shooting accomplishments under the headers, shots on target, goals, matches completed, goals from outside the box. Um, so I hope you're this closer towards the end of that towards those becoming completed in my next game in the Capital One Cup against Swansea City at home. I have been picked so I'll let you run through it and I'll speak to you after. Welcome to EA Sports live coverage of the Capital One Cup. It's the MK Dons against Swansea City. Of course the lights are beaming down this evening. So without further ado we take you to Milton Keynes. Here's your commentary team Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. Well, a break from the league action in the English League Cup. And I can sense the extra buzz amongst the supporters as we came into the stadium. Amma. Excellent positioning, and the interception is made. He's in the clear. In with a chance. It's gone in off the goalkeeper. Take another look at the goal. So after the goal, we've opened the scoring here, one nil. Amak, goalkeeper, is there for him, and he's played it to him. The tackling is a real skill. To more, brilliant opening. Oh, the goal stands. Made it 2-0. Marvellous tackle. Now here is a chance for them. Could be a goal. Well, can you believe what we've seen in the first half? Half time. It's been an interesting first half, Alan, hasn't it? The ball's been knocked around, particularly in midfield, quite well, and there have been some chances. There have been, and uh, a few goals as well, which isn't always the case when you get a lot of the ball in midfield, but we've, we've had some entertainment. It's an excellent break here because he's got support. He's looking for the cross. Going to be substituted here, and that perhaps is an easy decision to make. Uh, the new fans haven't quite taken to him yet because they expected more. They did. Uh, his first few touches in the match were poor, and his confidence went after that. Here's the opportunity. Some options on the bench for the home team. Nathan Dyer. Well, he's passed his man here easily. De Guzman. Britain. Williams. And that's it. Last blast on the whistle from the referee. This is a brilliant result for them. They continue to fight in the cup. On they go to the next round. They just appear to have a wonderful team spirit in that camp, and that's going to serve them well. Well, guys, that was an absolute fantastic result at home Swansea in the Capital One Cup with two crucial first half goals. Um, two, I must admit, the first goal um, where I, that I assisted for Powell, that was a bit of luck, I suppose. But to be honest, I was happy with the goal I scored. That was an absolute fantastic goal. But anyway, Game over, we're into the next round of the Capital One Cup. Who we're against, I do not know. Why I've just gone to the other leagues, I do not know. But let's have a look, see who we're going to be facing in the next round, if it will show us. 
Um, St. Johnson's playing trophy. We've got St. Johnson's playing trophy game coming up. Um, and we have Aston Villa in the last 16 on the Capital One Cup at the end of October. So the next game is against Sheffield United in the league away. I have been picked for it. Um, and that will be the game in yeah this will be this match will be in this episode so um yeah I'll let you play for it and I'll speak to you after. Welcome to EA Sports live coverage of League One. It's Sheffield United against Milton Keynes Dons. Let's head straight for Sheffield. Your commentary team Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. Hi there, everybody. Welcome to the match. Martin Tyler here. Alan Smith sitting alongside me. Thank you, Martin. Looking forward to this. Return pass. To Moore. Trying to get possession back. He's coming forward with some danger. In with a chance. Kept his cool and looped it into the empty net. Well, looking at the replays, the keeper's hardly ever in shot. He's so far away from his base, and uh, the scorer couldn't have had a simpler task. No, that's right. Not many times you get a completely open goal like that, but this was one of them. So after the goal, we've opened the scoring here, 1-0. Good movement to get to it. Okay. Well, that's half time at 1 0. Well, the finishing has been there with the goals, that uh, tells you that. But the flourish of the play? It's not been the best. It's not been a memorable first half, but uh, there have been some good goals. Goal news from Bradford. It's a goal for Bristol City. 72 minutes played. 1 0. Cheers, Alan. Well, they're in a good position here. So let's have a look at. Here he is with a chance. It's bounced back into play from the bar. That will go down as a routine stop. Baxter. That's a clever pass. Great tackle. More. Spence. And off he goes again. He's offside again. It is time now for the manager to show their hands with their substitutions. Both managers are going to do this. Referee says that's that. Well, guys, for me, even though it was a win, it was an OK 1-0 win. We could have played a little bit better, in my opinion. But, um, you know, we could have had more goals, could have had a lot more chances, but some of them didn't come. But, in the game, Sheffield United in places did play very, very well indeed. Um, next game um, is at home in the league against Carlisle United. I am playing in that game. The manager has picked me. And that will be in the next episode, guys. So, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next episode.